Okay, hey guys, um, I'm going to show you how to make stable mates cross ties. Alright, they're going to look like this. Um, okay, so I'm just going to tie them each other in one. You need this stretchy string stuff. Um, you could use yarn or string, but I recommend using the stretchy stuff. Um, scissors, and you also need, um, the twist ties. You could buy, you, well, you could get them at the grocery store e very easily. Like, you know, when you buy apples, you, like, put it in a baggie and then, like, twist it with these. Get a couple of these, and they're normally green, so yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much all you need. Oh, yeah, and you need a brayer, horse, and a halter. Okay, so I'm going to take this apart and just kind of, because this is, like, the second one I made, so. And I did a video before this on how to do it, but I had to re-record it, because it wasn't all that good, you know? Okay. I'm just pretty much taking it apart. Because I don't feel like starting all over from scratch. Even though I probably should, you know. But. Almost done. Almost done taking it apart. So close to being gone. Oh my god, I'm almost done. And my horse totally just went. Okay, so, um. I'll show you the size that you will need for the twist time. Is about that long from the top of your horse's head down to the muzzle. That's pretty much how I measured it. So, and it works very well. Okay, so the first piece that you are gonna need for sure, um, you're gonna have to like roll it halfway like that. There. Just like that, you're just gonna kind of roll it and then. Yeah, so you're going to roll two of them. So you're also, and this is the other roll. Okay. So you're going to roll two of them. And then after you do that, you're going to also do um, two more rolls, but bend it at the end so it's like a V. Like a clip, sort of. See how I did that? So you're going to do another one like that. Alright? So you're going to have two regular rolled ones and then two rolled ones with the bend or with the V. Okay? And then you're going to take one piece of this yarn. And you could have it as long as you want. Ah, camera fell down. So like I was saying, you could have it as long as you want. Um, and then take the normal round twisted, or, yeah, it's just the twisted one, not the V. And just kind of stick it through. Um, let me try this one more time. Can I get back on? Just turn on camera. Pull it through. If I can. That is, like, not too tight. There we go. It's going to look like that. Sorry, I have this tape on it still. Okay. So it's going to look like that. And then you have one like that. All right, just like that. You're going to take the other normal one and put it on a different piece of string. If I can get it to go through. My roll's kind of tight. Ugh, one second, I think I have to re-roll it. Oh, sorry, this will take, like, a couple seconds. Um, ugh. Okay, there we go. So you have two, um, that look like that. Then you're going to take the twisted one with the V and slide it on the other end of one of these with the... Tie. I'm gonna have to re-roll mine too. And make sure, make sure, make sure it has um a roll 
or yeah, a V because it will be completely messed up if you don't. So you have one that looks like that, one with the V, and then one with just a straight one, okay? And then you're gonna do the same with the other one with the straight. So let me re roll. Okay. And these are, by the way, for stable mates only. Because I know, like, they hardly have anything for, like, stable mates. They all have them for, like, quick classics and traditionals. But, yeah, you need the stable mate stuff. So, I just made these. Okay, so I'm done doing that. So, now you have two that look like that. Alright, so now you're going to take the tape. Just a roll of tape. Oh, sorry, one second. You're going to cut off a piece about that big, so that wide or whatever. It doesn't really matter, but I like mine kind of. So then the side with the straight ones, um, like with the straight rolls, you're going to tape them to whatever you want to tape it to. You could tape it to basically anything. Like, say your trailer. For instance, what I'm doing, a Lash doll. Um, also, if you want, you can snip off the... Okay, so you have that like that. And, it, and it's like dangling like that. Then you do the same thing on the other side. Just about... That much tape. Do the same thing. I'm trying to think what the best. Um. Okay, so you have two that look like that. All right. So the next step is to get your horse with sorry about that, a halter, and mine is a black halter. And let's do this one side. I'm going to take the one right here. And the tape might come off, but it's fine. You just have to work with it. And slip it through the side of the halter and clamp it shut. So it looks like that. And then, let's do the other side. <sighs> Alright, so we're doing the other side. And do the same thing. Slip it through the side of the bridle. So, I'm doing that now. So, let's see if I can get that through there. Alright, and then just clamp it shut. So you have it like that. So you made this process. Good job, you did your cross ties for your stable mates. Um, and then I have really good tips for you to use. If you want to make like an arena or something, use sandpaper. It works very well and it has a texture. And also cut a little piece of the sandpaper off and use it as an etching tool to rub away the paint. I did it once, and it looks very nice. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you the horses I etched, too. So, if I can clean it correctly. Okay. This paint used to just have a star, but now he has a blaze. Um, I saw my other one. This horse had nothing, and now he has a blaze. And this horse also had nothing, and now has a blaze. So you have all of that, and it really works out nice. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Oh yeah, and let me tell you something else. The 
a day at the races mini mini set i said i was going to be posting so yes i will try to post that tonight so i hope i do and um so stay tuned all right bye